My entire family is doing their chores without me asking, and I'm freaking the F out. Ah, oh, my husband was first. When I came home from work, I found my husband in the kitchen, dishrag in hand, wiping down the counters. Hi, babe, he said, giving me a kiss. Then he went right back to wiping. Look, I love my family. They're wonderful. But 99% of the time when I get home from work, the kids are on the TV and my husband is on his iPad. Thanks for cleaning, I said uneasily. And then that little thought wormed its way into my head. He's cleaning because he expects something in return. Well, that was fine by me. I was tired, but I'd happily trade sexy times for a clean kitchen. But things got weirder when I walked into the living room. My two kids weren't parked in front of the TV, watching YouTube videos of toys being unboxed and cars crashing violently. Layla was putting her stuffies in a toy bin, and Ben was actually doing his homework. I stood there in shock, staring at them. Hi, Mommy, Layla said with a big smile. Did you have a good day? No, no, no. My daughter, who's usually using the sofa as a jungle gym and scribbling on the walls, she was asking me if I had a good day. Uh, it was fine. Why is it so clean in here? Did Daddy take you out to the park for the day? She shook her head. We've been drawing and stuff. She reached over to the pile of paper and pulled out a drawing. It depicted, in crude stick figures, me holding her hand. I drew this for you, Mommy. I grabbed the drawing. It said, I love you, Mommy, with a smiley face across the top. Thanks. That's very sweet of you, Layla. Things only got weirder from there. Dinner time is always a fight. My kids are picky as hell, and someone always spits out food at some point. But Layla and Ben ate their dinners like two normal kids, without complaint. And then after, my husband started doing the dishes, without being asked. Cue Twilight Zone music. This was getting too weird. Had they joined a cult? Watched some YouTube video about kindness and discipline? Was it another fake social media holiday like Daughter's Day or Son's Day, but honoring mothers? Or was it just a good day? Occasionally my kids were this well behaved. It was just the confluence of their behavior and my husband's that was super strange. Around 7 p.m., my husband offered to watch the kids while I took a shower. But when I got out, I heard them talking in the family room, in low, hushed voices. I didn't even know my kids could talk at that volume. I started for them. But I stopped in my tracks when I heard them say my name. My name. Layla called me Kate, not Mommy. My blood turned to ice. I stood there, frozen, just beyond the doorway. I gave Kate my drawing. Layla said with vocabulary, and diction that seemed far too mature for a seven-year-old. She seemed to like it. I did all my homework and cleaned the bathroom, Ben added. It's spotless in there. Okay, good job, both of you. We need to keep this up, okay? This is what husbands and children do. With that, I heard footsteps coming my way. Heart hammering in my chest, I darted back for the stairs. As they came around the corner, I pretended I'd just come down. You guys doing okay? I asked, though my voice shook. What the hell is going on here? Layla ran up to me and grabbed my hand. My heart dropped at her ice-cold touch. I want a bedtime story, Mommy. She sing-songed, her voice a completely different intonation than before. I want a bedtime story, too. I glanced up at my husband. He shot me a warm smile. Uh, could you put them to bed tonight? I'm not feeling great. Sure, honey. I listened to their footsteps, pounding up the stairs. Then I got the fuck out of there. I ran out to the car. Sat there for a moment, my entire body shaking. Where are my babies? Suddenly, my heart ached for Layla's tantrums. For Ben's ear splitting shrieks as he played Minecraft. For the messes and spills and chaos tears running down my cheeks, I started the car and began to back out of the driveway. Beep, beep, beep. The rear collision alert. I stomped on the brakes and glanced in the rearview mirror. No. My husband Layla and Ben were standing motionless in the darkness, blocking my way out. 
They were no longer smiling. Their faces were set in stone as they stared me down, scowling at me in the mirror. And their eyes... Oh God, their eyes... They were pure black. Instinct shut in. I flipped the car into drive and pulled over the grass. Then I peeled out of the neighborhood. It's been an hour now. I called the police, but they don't believe me. I don't know what to do next. My family isn't acting like my family. I'm terrified. And more than anything, I miss my babies and my husband. The good and the bad. What should I do?